I'll move on to question three. So question four. I mean solution to question three. Question three. Now this question involves major I mean taking over of a company by another company. In this case, King PLC is about to take over Queen PLC. Now we are given the extract of the statement of uh, uh income statement of both companies and extract from their statement of financial position. Now we are told that the ordinary shares of King PLC have a coin market value of three and a fifty cobble. Why that of Queen PLC have a market value of one and a fifty cobble, excluding dividend? Now the directors of King PLC are considering a bid to acquire or take over Queen PLC. And the reason for this is that they believe that this taking over will increase their revenue by 1.5 million per annum and also will result in the saving of the operating expenses by 1 million to 50,000. Apart from that, they said an asset that is no longer required can also be sold and a cash of 2.5 million can be generated. Now, the directors of the company of King PLC finally of the opinion that once the taking over eventually take place, it will result in a reduction of return by ordinary shareholder to 10%. Now, given this scenario, we are to advise the as a financial consultant to King PLC, we are to advise them on the maximum price that the company should be willing to pay for the entire share capital of Queen PLC. We are also required to show the entire to show how the entire benefit from the takeover will be accrued to the present shareholder of King PLC, assuming that the takeover price is agreed at half of the figure we suggested in A. Then we have to discuss other factors that the director of Queen PLC can use in order to reject the proposed takeover. Then we have to to uh, other factor that the directors of King PLC can consider and also Queen PLC before the proposed takeover is actualized. Then lastly, we have to list the factors or defense tactics that could be used by Queen PLC in order to frustrate, reject and uh, uh, the takeover bid by King PLC. Okay. So the first thing we have to do now is to ascertain the maximum price that Queen PLC should be willing to pay for the entire share. Uh, King PLC should be willing to pay for the entire capital of Queen PLC. So call this A. Computation of the maximum amount. Maximum amount King PLC should pay for the proposed takeover. Now note that A million. Note that we are given the ordinary shares of both companies. We are given the number of ordinary shares for both companies. And this is for King. Let me put this as King. Queen. 
We have the issue share capital. This is fifty. This is twenty five. Then we are given their market price per share. This is three point five, while this is one point five. So with this can ascertain the value total value total equity value of the company. So this is one seven five million. Why this is thirty seven point five million. Now from the proposed taking over King PLC after the taking over King P King PLC Val after the taking over will be They are going to have, uh, let's see, the total sales revenue for the king. We are given, we are told that the revenue of king is 37.5 and queen is 20 million respectively. So, from the sales revenue, this half 37.5, white queen half 20. Then we are told that there will be an increase in revenue to the tune of 1.5 million if the taking over materialize. So the total sales revenue they will be seen here is 59. Point zero zero million. Apart from this, they will have uh, total operating expenses. Total operating expenses of both companies will also come to. Let's check. We have King 20 million and Queen 15.5 million. And record that they are going to have a saving of 1 million 250 once the takeover exercise materialized. So we have King 20 million plus Queen 15.5. And they are going to have a saving of one two fifty. So this will give us total expenses of thirty four million two fifty thousand. So this is the profit from the combination. They are having a profit of twenty four. Point seven five. Now, since we are told that the profit of the company is to be distributed, now we are told that the policy of both company is that all their profit will be distributed to ordinary shareholder as they are earned. So, the implication of this is that the total profit also equal to the dividend. So since all profit is to be distributed, is to be distributed to shareholders, to shareholders, the profit also equal to ordinary dividend which is equal to 
0.75 million. Now the value of the company of combined company will be the present value of the future dividend. So the future dividend is 24.75. So we discount it by the cost of capital. Now we are told that the cost of capital of the company is 10%. This is the return expected by the shareholder, which is the cost of capital of the company. So by 10%. Then when you do this, you arrive at 247.5 million. So therefore, the the total value of King PLC after the Takeover will be discounted ordinary dividend that is twenty two four seven point five million. Then we are told that an asset will be sold. So cash flow from asset disposed we are told in the question that an asset will be disclosed for 2.5 million this is another cash flow to the company we have 2.5 million so the value of the company total is now 250 million naira so the maximum amount the maximum amount Queen PLC should pay to King PLC should be the excess To be the excess value according to King PLC from the takeover. Which is initial value of king before take over is 175 million new value from take over is 250 so the difference is what Queen PLC should be and that is 75 million naira. is 75 Now B part
in the pit part, we are called to show how the entire benefit from the takeover we accrue to the present shareholders of King PLC. Assuming that the takeover price is agreed at half of the figure we advised. Now, half of the figure in the above is 37.5 million. Is thirty seven point five million. So note that the total number. Of shares according to the combined combined comparable to take over will be the shares. Shares of King PLC plus shares of Queen PLC. Now, the shares that will be allotted to Queen PLC, we don't know. So let's assume shares of Queen PLC. Queen PLC will be Q. Will be Q. And total share. Will be five. I mean, fifty million. Plus Q. Fifty million plus Q. Total value of King of King after acquisition is two fifty. Me no, we have ascertained that here. It's true if we have ascertained that here, and also we can also ascertain it. As one seventy five million of King plus thirty seven point five million of Queen plus thirty seven point five million additional value from the takeover. 
However, we should note that We should know that um, for should know that for the for the benefit from the takeover to accrue to the shareholder of King PLC only. Of King PLC only. The value of King PLC King PLC shares Issue to Queen PLC must must be equal to the agreed takeover price. Which means now this is the value of King PLC. If you multiply it by the shares that be accrued to King PLC, must be equal to the value to the agreed takeover price. So this is the agreed takeover that is the maximum amount that um Queen will pay times the total number of shares of the company. You represented this by Q. We have sent this by Q. So we have 250 Q is equal to 37.5 Q plus 500. That is 1875. One Let's confirm. Okay. Eighteen seven fifty. So you can solve for Q. Uh, Q is eight eight two three. Point five. Okay. Like eighty eight point two. Thirty five million shares. Why the market value?
So the market value per share after the takeover will be So this will give us the value of the combined company, 2 million, over the number of shares, 1.235. And this will give us 4 naira 25 cob. So, the gain. To the existing shareholder of King PLC will be the difference of King PLC will be 4.25, that is the new value of the shares, minus 3.5, that is the value before acquisition. So again to them four point two five minus three point five is seventy five cover per share. Per share which is times combined shares is fifty million. And this will give us that seven million five hundred thousand. So the B, the C part of the question, we are asked to discuss briefly any other factors that the director and shareholder of both companies might consider before the acceptance of the proposed takeover. So we have factors to be considered. Factors King PLC and Queen PLC should consider before accepting the proposed takeover. Number one, you should consider the effect on dilution of earnings. Number two, they should consider and agree on the takeover price. Takeover price agreed upon. Number three, they should consider the reality of the estimate. The reality of the estimates suggested. Number four, they should also consider the individual management. Individual management and competitions in the industry. Four, I mean number five, they should consider the cost of acquisition. Uh, 
especially if the purpose be fail. to materialize. Also, they should look at the method of financing the takeover. Another factor they will consider is the effect of inflation and taxation on their estimate. Number eight, they should, they should consider the reaction of government. The reaction of government and other players. in the industry. To the takeover bid. Another factor they should consider is the risks involved. In the transaction. Then lastly, they should consider they should also consider the uh, the effect it will have on the staff of any of the In, you have on the staff of both not only the staff this if you have and also the director on the managers and the deep part The deep part. In the deep part, we are to list any five defense tactics that could be used. Queen PSC can use to frustrate the proposed takeover bid by King PLC. Includes one. It can make use of uh, the following. We have what we call uh, asset restructuring. Another method they can make use of 
can meet EQ of, of what we call white knight defense. And seek another company with more enticing proposed bid. They can also seek government And see government injunction to a street or other king PLC not to acquire them. Another method they can use is what you call Pac Man defense. Under the Pac Man de defense, A Queen PLC also proposed to acquire King PLC. Other methods that can be used include what we call they can make use of green. Green may defense. You can also make use of uh, what we call um, crown jewel defense. And so on and so forth. Also the can And please, the shareholders not to sell their shares to King PLC.